Hello everyone, we are ready to get started on actually creating a private selling partner API application. We will cover steps 4, create a private selling partner API application and step 5, self-authorize application in this video. Awesome work on completing all the steps to get to this point. Let's review what we have done so far. Created a developer profile, requested data access, created and configured IAM resources. Let's head back to Seller Central. Assuming that the developer profile is approved at this point, click on Add New App Client. Enter a name. Select the API type as SP API. This selection populates the rest of the form. Paste the ARN of the IAM role that we just created. And then select the different SP API roles required for this app. Note that the roles displayed here is based on what was selected on the developer profile. Choose save and exit to complete the registration and that's it. You have created a draft selling partner API application. Next, let's self-authorize the app. Click on authorize. Choose Authorize App corresponding to the Selling Partner account that you want your application to access. If you have multiple Selling Partner accounts, you can link them and we will see more about this later in the video. A login with Amazon Refresh token appears when Authorize is clicked. For vendors, follow the same steps to create Selling Partner API app and self-authorize on Vendor Central. Another important functionality to note while creating a SP API app is that you can create a single global SP API application for all related seller accounts. If your account is merged with accounts from other regions, you will see an Authorize App button for each of your merged accounts on the Authorize Application page. To authorize your application to access a different selling partner account, at the bottom of the Authorize Application page, you can choose sign in to that account. Let's see a quick demo of this functionality. Sign into Seller Central again and navigate to the application that we created in the previous step and click on Authorize. As you see, the Selling Partner account is merged with accounts in other marketplaces. So you see an Authorize App button for each of these merged accounts. Choose Authorize App for each Selling Partner account and use the corresponding refresh token to access the SP APIs. Now to authorize your application to access a different selling partner account, at the bottom of the page, choose sign in to that account. On the seller central sign in page that appears, sign in using the credentials for that selling partner account. And on the authorize application page, choose authorize app to get a refresh token. You can use this refresh token to do selling partner API calls for this account. So you don't have to create a new application for each selling partner account, but just use one application and link all the accounts. Now that we have the LWA refresh token for our selling partner account, we can exchange this for access token and then connect to the selling partner API and make a sample API call. Head over to our final video in this series to connect to SP API and do a sample API call using Postman. 